Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, The Tech Canna Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads The Tech Canna Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille. What's up everyone, The Tech Canna Player Kid here and this is the last part, hopefully, of this tutorial of Bohemian Rhapsody of the Accompaniment from Queen. So we're on the last section and this part is a little bit tricky because I'm not sure what the exact rhythm is here, but I'll do my best here. So your left hand is E flat octaves, right hand E flat G, B flat, E flat. Now it's kind of hard to tell what he's doing here with this, but it's kind of between this and this. So that first part I told you, the right hand just moves the G to an A flat to make it a suspended chord and go back. So it's something like this. Something like that. And then it goes to this. So after this one. And then he jumps his hand from here to a low F octaves. Right hand A, C, E flat, F. Same rhythm pretty much. And then he goes to B flat, left hand B flat octaves, right hand F, B flat, D. Then E flat octaves in the left hand, right hand G, B flat, E flat. Back to B flat. Then C sharp octaves. Right hand just a plain C sharp. And then back to B flat. Oops. Then left hand E flat octaves. Right hand G, B flat, C sharp, E flat to make a seventh. Left hand A flat octaves. Right hand A flat, C, E flat. Then the left hand just goes to G by itself. Then F minor in the right hand, F, A flat, C, left hand, F octaves. Back to B flat, B flat, or uh, F, B flat, and D in the right hand, the left hand, B flat octaves. Back to F minor, B flat, F minor, F, B flat, F minor, B flat. And back to this part again. Now this F7 is played differently. Left hand goes up to the F octave. Left hand, or right hand, sorry. The left hand does this. The right hand is C, E flat, F, A. So... So this is, left hand is all octaves. F sharp, A flat, A natural, jump your hand down to B octaves, right hand. They're all double octaves. So F sharp, B flat, C sharp, F sharp, move your hand up a whole step to A flat, A flat, C, E flat, A, whoops, A flat. Half a step up to A major, A, C sharp, E, A. And a whole step up to B major, B, E flat, F sharp, B. Then your left hand just plays, I believe it's just your left hand, A flat, B flat. Here he plays a little bit, kind of plays a little around with a B flat scale and it sounds something like this. So B flat, C, D, C. So let's play, 
let's break this down a little bit of a time because this is a little bit, it's not hard, but it's, it can get confusing. Uh, let me see how I can break this down here. Okay, so B flat, C, D, C. Back to D. B flat. F. I'm going one at a time here so you can kind of hear what's going on. Back to E flat. Back to F. G. A flat and then back to G. Back to A flat. B flat. Whoops. Ah. And then the B flat. D, B flat. And then F and B flat. So, or something like that. But it's, some, it's something like this. Now we come to the ending. Left hand E flat octaves, right hand E flat G and B flat. D octaves in the left hand, right hand G, F, and B flat. Left hand goes to C octaves, right hand C, E flat, and G. And now he adds this seventh chord here, a minor seventh. C, E flat, G, and B flat. Then you have a G7 in the right hand. B, D, F, and G. Whoops. Left hand is B octaves. Go back to C minor. Right hand C, E flat, G, left hand C octaves. We'll go back to that G7 chord and B octaves in the left hand. So, together it sounds like this. Again. And after this C minor, go to B flat octaves in the left hand, right hand B flat, D, and F. Right hand goes to B flat, E flat, and G, left hand E flat octaves. Then go to D octaves in the left hand, right hand, D, F sharp, and A. Then break it up. Just the right hand. Then go to G minor in uh, right hand, D, G, and E, uh, B flat, left hand, G octaves. Then break up the chord in the right hand. Then move your hand, left hand, to A flat octaves, right hand, Your right hand does kind of a mixture between a chord and a scale. I, I mean, I don't call it that, but it's kind of like that. Anyway, it's E flat, A flat, and C. Then single notes at a time on the right hand. B flat, A flat. Then E flat. Left hand, E flat octaves. Right hand, E flat, G, B flat. E flat by itself. G, B flat, and E flat, and E flat. So let's play that much. That's a lot. Next, we go to... A C minor chord. So you kind of just play around here a little bit, but it's like that rhythm. And then go to G minor, the same thing. Go back to C minor. Back to G minor. Go back to C minor again. A flat minor. which is 
going to be A flat all gets in the left hand, right hand, A flat, B, and E, and it's rolled. Now make your A flat minor a major, but it's moving the B to a C, but move your left hand up to B flat. So you're, you're uh, making it a almost an A flat major with an added second, but the left hand is making that a second, if that makes sense. So instead of doing this, your left hand's doing it for you. And then we come to this part. And the way that's played is you uh, play E flat octaves in the left hand, right hand E flat G and B flat, and you roll it. Then play the single notes at a time, right hand. So then the right hand E flat A flat C, then D by itself A flat chord again. So, so you play this A flat and the D twice. So one, two, then go back to E flat, break it up again. Then F sharp, A and C, then D, so, you play that twice again, then D octaves in the left hand, right hand D, F, and B flat, break up the chord in the right hand. Your left hand goes to C sharp octaves, right hand C sharp, F, B flat, then catch the C on the top, and you play that right hand twice again. So let's play that much. Then left hand goes to C octaves, right hand C, E, and G. You play it once and then break it up. Then I'm not sure what you plays here, but I thought the E, G, and B flat uh, would fit here. So, so, so that so it's together, right, 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 and you could play both here at the same time again. That's up to you. But I think it's just right hand. A flat, A flat, then G with D? G once, and then here I'll play the C octaves and the D and the E and G together. E, C, B flat. Left hand F octaves, right hand F, A, F, but broken up. So. Then right hand, B flat and D, F by itself, A and C by itself, catch the F on the top, A flat and B, F on the top, so that's the A flat and B with the F on the top, then G and B flat on um, on the bottom, and then catch the F on the top, and then C F and A with F octaves in the left hand. So let's go back and 
do this much. It's probably a little bit too far back, but it will help you to understand how to put this all together. So this concludes the piano tutorial for Bohemian Rhapsody. I hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful to you. For questions, please leave them down in the comments below or send them to info at the techpianoplayerkid.com. Please keep in mind that it may go in the junk mail folder when I reply. You can also give me a call or text me at 913-312-1325 and follow me on Facebook as well as me following on Twitter. Also, if you do not live in the United States, you can text me through WhatsApp using the same phone number and you can call me there as well. Everything is down below in the description. God bless you all and peace. The Tech Panda Player Kid is out. Thank you for watching today's video. Please do not forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, please email info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. Please also follow my Twitter at tech underscore piano. A black background with white text that reads the tech and a player kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in braille, then fades to black.